What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Firstborn Fitness TV. It's your boy Glenn representing Firstborn Athletics. I'm gonna give you a vlog style type video today. Just take you through my day. Today's the last day of filming for this series we're running on the channel called Firstborn Fitness TV Shorts. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just quick workout videos showing you my workout for that day. So the last two videos we're filming today, it's gonna complete the series and it's gonna be the leg day video as well as the shoulder day video we're gonna see what else we get into maybe show you some shopping when i get out of the gym i've been doing a keto diet and it has been going awesome so maybe i'm going to show you a couple of things that i pick up at the supermarket just some keto basics all right you guys ready for the day let's go So I'm currently testing products for a company called The Genius Brand. This is their pre-workout called Genius Pre. Curious about this one because it's not big on caffeine. Matter of fact, there's no caffeine in it at all. So how can it be big on caffeine? Anyway, uh, they're calling it a synergistic mind-to-muscle pre-workout powerhouse. No proprietary blends, no artificial dyes, no banned substances, pure results. All right, we are gonna find out today. All right, guys, the flavor on the Genius Pre is Grape Limeade. Let's see what we got. It's good, definitely accurate on the flavor. Let's see, I'm gonna to get to the gym in about 10 minutes. We'll see what we got today. Yo, what's going on, guys? Just got out of the gym. Legs and shoulders, oh man, I am burnt. Just came to the car to grab something. I'm gonna go to the supermarket next to the gym, see what we can get a uh, pick up. Like I said, I'm on a keto diet, so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of keto basics. Got my main training partner shopping with me today. Let's see. Spinach is always good. All right, guys, so I love fruit, pineapples, strawberries, but you gotta just be careful on a keto diet with fruit. You're really gonna wanna stick to your berries, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Most fruits very high in sugar. You wanna stay away from that on a keto diet. All right, now as opposed to the fruit, this is a section where we can really get busy, the meat section. So normally on a diet, I'd be looking at like a, you know, ground beef, maybe like a 93.7, something like that, you'd want a lean beef. Keto diet, opposite direction. You can go down to 80-20. Fat is what you're using for an energy, so, excuse me, energy source. So you can go down to that 80-20. You could pick cuts of meat that are higher in fat. So another great choice when you're on the keto diet is fish. Particularly, I like salmon. When I'm in this supermarket, I don't pick up the fresh salmon because as you can see, it's farm raised. I would prefer fresh, but not in this supermarket. So I always pick up the frozen salmon here as it's wild caught. All right guys, so we're making our way through the aisles here. Like I said, just keto basics, nothing too crazy. Just showing you what I'm eating currently. Okay, so yogurt is another thing that I like, particularly Greek yogurt, but again, you have to be careful because of the sugar content in the yogurt. So I try to just stay away from them for now. Grocery haul done, guys. So I shouldn't even say haul because it isn't a whole lot in here, but we just, you know, the basics. Like I said, we did, uh, we got some meat, we got some ground beef, some salmon. That was pretty much it. We got some ice cream for my kids, hot dogs for them. Nothing I'm gonna be eating. Gonna be headed home and uh, we'll continue the video. Still gotta edit what we did today. All right guys, we are getting ready for takeoff and I got my co-pilot with me. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, so just made it home. Gotta get my co-pilot out of the car. So like I said earlier in the vlog, I'm currently doing some product testing for the Genius brand and I tested out the pre-workout today. It's called Genius Pre. So let's get into it, guys. So taking a look at the supplement facts, you can see for the uh, pump, there's citrulline malate in here, six grams. There's beta alanine, two grams. This is the type of supplement where if you're looking for a um, that surge of energy and you know the, the the stimulant type of 
type of feel this this is not going to be it for you guys if you care more about the mind to muscle connection the pump in your workout then th this is good man i'm going to link it in the description box below this is the second day that i've tried it another thing i do like about the genius brand is that they have a holistic approach to their supplements this particular supplement is naturally flavored as well as naturally sweetened they use stevia to sweeten the uh, product all right guys so it's about that time if you haven't seen the leg video, I introduced you to my kids in the leg video. I'm gonna put a link to the leg video right there. So I introduced you to my kids in the leg video, I'll introduce you to my two boys. It's time to introduce you to my daughter. Dad. Look at this beautiful girl. Guys, meet Lola. If anybody wants to come into my house on welcome, you wanna break in? Business will pick up, I promise you. So guys, I, I'm excited, I, I, I really am. I've been dieting and uh, since the end of January. So I started January 26th. I bulked the whole winter. On January 26th, I was at 240 pounds. Weighing myself today, I'm down to 219. I'm not looking for any particular number. It's more what the mirror says, but I, I mean, I, I'm happy, you know? Still got a lot of work to do, but you know, it's, I'm setting a goal. I'm giving myself about another two months and um, we're gonna see where we're at at that time. Again, it's, it's not a particular number on the scale. It's more what the mirror says to me, you know? I know wh wh what I look like when I'm in good shape and I still got a little more work to do, but that's okay. That's what we like to do. We like to set goals and we like to crush them. I will say this, guys. Dirty bulk, I'm over it. That's it. This is the last time I'm doing it. it. It's just not worth it, you know? You spend the whole winter eating, eating, you feel strong in the gym, you're putting up weight, but you're also putting on weight. And then it's just crazy, you know, for the springtime to come, we're doing the whole bro thing, you know, we're cutting, we're cutting, we're cutting, go through the summer, and then in the fall, the winter, you just start the cycle again. How much muscle are you really holding on to when you do all that, you know? It's, it's not worth it. So this is the last time I'm doing a dirty bulk. I'm really just gonna try to eat cleaner and um, you know, I'm realistic. You know, I like to have my ice cream here and there, treats. Uh, I'll do a halo top maybe an enlightened ice cream. I, I don't like to get too crazy and it's not something I eat every night. It's here and there. Otherwise, you will go crazy guys dieting. You know, you do have to give yourself uh, that break. I mean, some people like to do a cheat meal. Some people like to do a whole cheat day. I'm not a fan of the cheat day. I'm more about, you know, either a meal or just like I said, like a treat here or there. If you've been dieting and you're eating clean, guys, look, eating, you know, a halo top, an entire pint, you're talking three or 400 calories. If you eat maybe half of that or a quarter of that, that is not gonna mess up your diet. Yeah, buddy. We're about to have some lunch here. My wife made some burgers. We're gonna have them in lettuce wraps. We have uh, butter lettuce here. I'm gonna put some cheese on it, some chipotle mayo. Keto friendly lunch, guys. Uh, over here, we have the Himalayan pink salt. Guys, when you're on keto, you have to have your mineral game on point. Your sodium, your magnesium, you have to be on point with that because they can get low. This is not something that's particularly needed on the keto diet, it's just something I like to do before bed. So like I was saying guys, two tablespoons before bed, that's what I've been doing. This has been a go-to lately for me, it's Chipotle Mayo. So let me just sum up for you how I feel about this product. If you stab me right now, I'm leaking Chipotle Mayo. My boy living that life. All right my people, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown. It's a you know short video, just a quick rundown of what I do. Um, hit the gym, picked up some food, little pre-workout before the gym. You got to meet my daughter. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go inside, get some lunch, then I got some editing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. And guys, you know the deal, man. If you like the video, smash that like button. Subscribe guys, tons of content coming at you in the future. Thank you so much. When you woke up today, you won. Wake up, breathe, triumph.